Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sergey, and I'm the owner of Nina Voa Custom Jewelry. We make custom engagement rings and wedding bands here in Los Angeles. And today I'm very excited to show you our very special Moss Agate engagement ring that we recently did for our new collection. And I'm going to show you everything about this ring, why we chose this specific type of the gold, why we chose this specific stone and the size, why we place it that way. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, side stones and about the prongs as well. So let's just go step by step uh, about this ring. So first of all, obviously, we're going to talk about the choice of the metal for this ring. And as you can see, uh, it's not your typical yellow gold. It's what is called the lemon gold. It's actually very popular uh, throughout the Europe. Probably the most popular region is Italy, where it's very, very popular for the summertime jewelry. You can see how it will fit perfectly into a uh, summer environment, as in California or Malibu or south of France, something like that. In this specific case, what I wanted to do, I wanted to have a very clear contrast between the green moss agate and uh, the, the wedding band. Uh, so from that, let's go to the center stone. You can see that this is the center of attention of this specific green. As I mentioned before, this is the moss agate. And when you're working with this stone, what you want to do, you want to keep the stone as large as possible. In that specific case, you're going to have this magical effect of the forest in your stone. Basically, you have a micro forest on your finger and it is absolutely unique, really. There is no stones that are the same. And in order to show all of that, you want to really keep it as large. Also, what sets this engagement ring apart from the other uh, engagement rings with the monks agate is that we haven't used uh, diamonds or moissanite or anything like that. On the side, we used the same uh, moss agate for the side stone as the center stone. Also, I want to point is that because we used such a large stone in such a small size, we had to develop absolutely unique uh, gallery for this specific ring and as you can see right now from the side uh, you would never really see that specific gallery anywhere else it made specifically for that stone the other thing um, basically the stone determines that uh, specific is that the mox agate not necessarily the most durable stone out there and you have to be aware of that really so um, as I like to explain it, if you know that you're not really accurate with things or maybe your phone quickly get cracked or something like that, probably Moss Agate not going to be your best choice, uh, at least for the first engagement ring. You may uh, use it for your second engagement ring. Let's say you want to travel with it since the Moss Agate cost way less. But in any case, you have to be aware that moss agate is not, not the most durable stone out there. But at the same time, uh, you can protect it. In, in this specific case, what we did, we uh, set it with the very wide prongs. When you're looking at this design, it looks very organic and natural. It looks like it has to be there. I would personally, even if the stone would be much more durable, I would not choose the claw prongs, for example. I would choose this one specifically. But it also protects stone very well from both sides. And also uh, from, from the side, from the left and from the right, it gets protection from basils. So as you can see, although this ring at first looks very simple, in reality, it's very well thought through. All of the details are there for a reason. Uh, the center stone is very well protected. Me personally, when I'm looking at this frame, I'm imagining the person who's into uh, forest, into hiking, into traveling to Oregon or Washington or Utah or something like that, someone who is outdoorsy but at the same time, uh, someone who knows their craft, they know why they're choosing things. Uh, someone who at the same time uh, like to have the conversation start on their hand. 
because this frame would naturally draw uh, quite a lot of attention from people who know who knows uh, their craft again. Uh, they would naturally ask what kind of stone it is, what kind of setting it is, because not every day you will see this. And that's what we do here in Innovolve. We create custom engagement rings for a very specific person, for the very specific story, for the very specific love story. That's what I like about it. If you want to make your custom engagement ring based on this design, or you want to create something that inspired by this design, uh, please let me know and contact me. We'll definitely work on this. Uh, there is a video um, on this YouTube channel explaining the way we work. Please check it out and let me know what do you think. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.